Here at the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts, we're featuring an exhibition of the paintings of Catherine Hinkle, a Michigan-born artist whose work deserves to be much better known. In the mid-1940s, Catherine Hinkle studied at Kalamazoo College before moving to Chicago to study art at the Institute of Design. In Chicago, she studied under the guidance of Laszlo Moholy Nagy, a German artist who immigrated to the United States in the 1930s. He was a major figure in the development of mid-century modernism here in America. He was so impressed with Catherine Hinkle's work as a student that he dubbed her his little color genius. After she graduated, Hinkle developed a strong body of work that, and she began to exhibit her work in regional and national exhibitions. Her paintings from the early 1950s are multi-layered, colorful abstractions with a great deal of texture. Using oil on canvas, she applied layers of color and then accentuated the depth of the surface of the paintings by incising a grid-like pattern. Hinkle thought of her paintings as color experiences. She felt that the key to understanding her work was not to see what she had painted, but rather to feel it. Even though her paintings are abstract, she used referential titles and when you look at the paintings and look at the titles, you can oftentimes see and feel what she was, what she was trying to portray through color. So, for instance, the piece behind me is called Spring, and you can see that it has violets and a spring green and yellow, and it has a very spring-like feel to it. Some of her paintings are titled uh, with musical compositions in mind so that they have a kind of jazz-like or syncopation uh, in, involved in the, in the surface and in the way she uses color. A significant aspect of Catherine Hinkle's work is the fact that she was developing her own abstract visual language in the early 1950s in Chicago, literally at the same time that people like Pollock and de Kooning and Klein were developing abstract expressionism in New York. But because Catherine Hinkle died at such an early age, her work has not yet received the critical acclaim that it so much deserves. And we hope that this exhibition will correct that.